Good day everyone and welcome to day 205, turn 205 of your daily Civ 7 news update. We got some news today. We have this image that was uploaded to the Civ 7 Steam files. This is a bit of a long one, so strap in. First of all, just want to say I think the artwork here is phenomenal. As a serial paladin player, I love the white on gold aesthetic. And if this is what the in-game UI theming is going to look like, that'd be awesome. I will say, if there's one thing I liked about Humankind, and to be honest, there wasn't much, but the visuals and the feel of the user interface in that game I thought was fantastic, and this kind of reminds me of that. Uh, as for what is being portrayed here, first of all, uh, it's kind of like a clock, so around the outer rim we have various wonders here, uh, starting at the sort of quarter past three position, we have the pyramids, and it goes around ending with the uh, Eiffel Tower in the modern era here. Now our friends on the Civ Fanatics forums have been hard at work, as always, so go head over there to see the discussion around what wonders are being portrayed exactly, uh, or comment down below with what you think. So also on the outer rim, we have these three big hexagons. Now this, to me, reads as representing eras. So as we go clockwise around, uh, at 6 o'clock here we have the hammer and chisel, representing you know, the ancient era. We have the ship wheel at 9 o'clock representing the age of exploration, and then finally the gears up the top representing the industrial age. So that's my take anyway. As for the inner ring, uh, there are four hexagons, and to be honest, this image is a, is a bit small, a bit low resolution to really glean what we're looking at here. I'm not hearing anything definitive other than the bottom left one appears to be a corticus. Uh, it's a symbol mainly represented in medicine, but can also be a symbol of peace and commerce. As for the other two, uh, bottom right, that could be a sword and shield, uh, and I'm stumped for the top two. So, yeah, jury's out on that one, but if I had to bet, these are probably representing the four victory conditions of the game, but that's just a guess. Uh, one last small bit of news, kinda, is the 2K launcher will not be required to launch Civ 7, and it has also been removed from Civ 6. This moment was represented beautifully in Ursa's drawing today, Possibly my favourite one yet. He's even got the lore accurate year slash turn combo. Fantastic detail there. Awesome stuff as always. Go follow our friend from across the pond. Anyway, that's all from me today. I'll see everyone tomorrow. But until then, thanks for watching.